it's so from tbh studying and today i'm here to show you guys what's in my pencil case after about eight months of being on my stationary no buy so my pencil case itself is the del de sun star slim pencil case in the color pink on the side i have this friendship bracelet that my friend sophie made me and this resin shaker that my friend winnie made me i'll link winnie's instagram if you're interested in seeing more of her work and sophie doesn't really have an instagram showcasing her bracelets but i will link everything down in the description below if you're interested so if we open everything up it's a pencil case that expands and has magnetic flaps so you can open it like a tray you can see that right there <laughs> i scatter the stars thinking that they would be a cute background but i'm not gonna lie they keep sticking to my fingers so um <laughs> at least i tried for the aesthetic this time guys the first thing I have here is a Tombow Mono Correction Tape. This is a correction tape that I've used for years now since high school and I like it because you can sort of push this gray protective bit over the tape so that it doesn't tear or rip inside your pencil case. Because I use a lot of pens when writing my notes, I find that this is really useful and important. While taking notes, I can quickly just erase any mistakes I make and just write over it in pen. Next, I have a Stabilo pink highlighter. Honestly, this is not the best highlighter in my opinion because it's very inky and often bleeds through paper, but I'm trying to use up the ink inside of it and get as much use out of it as I can. However, the color that this is is very pretty. It's like this pale, unique sort of shade of pink that I don't see very often. I think I've only seen this kind of soft, muted, even pink in maybe like one other highlighter from Korea, so I feel like this is a nice, mild, pink. Next, I have these Studler Tri Plus Text Surfers. These are highlighters that are shaped with this conical tip, but they're flexible enough such that you can use them as sort of a flexible brush pen, you can use them as a marker, you can use them as a highlighter. I really like these because they're so multi-purpose in their uses, and I really like the colors that they offer. But unfortunately, I'm starting to run out of ink in this brown one because I use it so often. So I'm going to have to wait another few months before I can repurchase this since I'm on my no-buy. I also have this pink one right here. The Studler pink is similar to the Stabilo pink if you're looking for a similar alternative that isn't quite as bright or neon as traditional pink highlighters or that kind of bright pastel pink that the mod liners have. Speaking of which, I also have the mod liner in green. Again, it's a pretty standard study tube, study blur favorite. You see these around everywhere and they're fine, don't get me wrong. They do offer a unique range of colors, but now that there are more highlighters available on the market, I'm not so sure if this is the best highlighter anymore. There's just such a wide variety of pastel highlighters out now. This is the Uni Propus Soft Color Highlighter. Like the Mod Liner, it has two ends, but the unique thing about this one is that there's a window in the tip. Honestly, I don't use a window that much, but I like that this highlighter has far less bleed through than the mod liners do, but there's a far more limited range of colors for the Uni Probus compared to the mod liners. And then the last highlighter I have is the Essenti Soft Highlighter from Monami. Monami is a Korean brand, and I think Jetpens offers these now, but before they were kind of hard to get in the US. I bought this while I was on my trip in Korea a couple years ago. It's a nice highlighter, kind of inky, but it's a lot less inky than the Stapolo Boss one. Overall, it's, it's a fine highlighter. Overall, I switch up the highlighter colors depending on the colors I wanna use in my notes. Typically, I'll use these for my bullet journal, and then I use this green one for bio, this blue and purple one for chemistry, and then I use this for every other class and I'll just switch these out depending on how I'm feeling or what I'm trying to use up at the time. So those are my highlighters. This is the Muji 0.5 mechanical pencil. It's a simple mechanical pencil. The grip isn't anything too special to write home about, 
and honestly I feel like this is easily breakable like it doesn't feel as durable compared to other mechanical pencils that I've had but it's reliable it's fine and it's okay for daily use. Next I have pens I use a lot in my bullet journals for outlining and drawing. This one is the Life Color pen from Manami and I got this in Korea. It has two tips. One is thick and one is thin. And then next we have the Sharpie pen fine liner. This isn't a like a permanent marker, this is like a fine liner pen. I really like this because it doesn't smudge, it doesn't smear, and it also works well with highlighter, so this is one of my favorites. And this is a Pigma Micron PN pen. I think that's the size. Essentially, it's one of the Sakura pens, but rather than having like a flimsy tip, it's sort of more of a conical shape while still having the same fine liner style. And I really like these pens overall for outlining, drawing, making graphs. These are just really useful. And honestly, I don't need to have all three of my pencil case because they all kind of serve the same purpose, but I do just like keeping them around with me. Next is my brush pen. This is the Pentel Fude Touch in gray. It's a small, slim brush pen that I think is really great for beginners. It has like a nice flexibility to it without wearing down as easily compared to the Tombow Duo brush pens. And overall, during my no-buy, I'm trying to make my way through all the Fude Touch pens that I have. I have a ton of the gray brush pens because I use these all the time, but I'm trying to run through all my backups and use them up and give them the love that they deserve. Currently, I've used up around two of these, and this is my third gray pen. It's not that they run out of ink quickly, it's just that I have a lot of open brush pens that I use halfway, and then I forget about them, and then I open up a new one, so I'm trying to cut down on that by like really focusing on one until I use it up, and then moving on to the next one. I have my gel pens. These two are the Zebra Sarasa Vintage Gel Pens in 0.5. These are probably my favorite color gel pens right now because they offer a very nice muted color selection without being overly bright or overly dark. I like that I can use them in diagrams and in notes without having them like pop too much. I just really like this range. And this is a new addition to my stationary collection. This is a Sharpie S gel pen in 0.38. I had to buy this while I was at home because I used up every single black pen I had at my house. And the three black pens that I currently have left in my collection are in my college dorm in storage right now. So I had to buy these because I really needed a black pen to use. Overall, my impressions on this are fairly good. Like the Sharpie Fine Liner pen, this highlights very well. There's no smearing, there's no smudging. I will say that there's some sort of scratchiness to the tip. It's hard to describe, but when you write with it on paper, there's sort of like this resistance to the paper as you write that makes for a nice tactile sensation when you write on paper, but I can see why it might not be for everyone. If you do get this pen, I recommend putting some sort of like paper underneath the paper you're writing on to sort of cushion the pressure you put down on the pen and to reduce the scratchy feeling on it. But overall, this is a pretty good gel pen that is easily available at supermarkets. And then the last thing in my pencil case is the Muji Black Eraser, and this is a small one. It's an eraser, it works, it's not the best eraser, but then again, I'm not as picky with erasers as I am with pens or pencils, so it does its job and that's all I really have to say about it. This is all I have in my pencil bag currently. And overall, I think my no buy, I talked about this before in my update video, but I think my no buy has really taught me how long certain things last and what I really tend to use on a day to day basis. And I'm trying to cut down on the number of highlighters I carry around because I'm starting to realize that I use black pens far, far more than I ever do any of my like colored products. So I'm gonna try and minimize this 
packed down so by the end of 2021 hopefully I can like reduce the amount of things I carry around with me and just really have a curated selection of things that I know that I'll use on a daily basis. That's all I've got. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this was an enjoyable video. Let me know what you have in your pencil case, what you tend to carry around and until then I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!